Cloud Needy was built for cloud security and compliance assurance. This is the landing page after you log in to the application. The main menu is on the left. On the top of the screen, you see the license name. Multiple cloud accounts can be added under one license. This license already has AWS, Azure, and Office 365 cloud accounts. We select Azure VM Baseline for further analysis. We see the compliance dashboard that provides continuous visibility across all relevant compliance frameworks. Information security and GRC teams benefit from this view. Each tile represents a specific compliance framework. You can see the current compliance percentage as well as daily trends tracking your improvements. The sunburst chart on the right allows you to understand your overall compliance posture. You can use it to drill down into each of these compliance frameworks. Cloud Needy has a security dashboard, a risk dashboard, and an assets dashboard. The next menu item is Cloud Security Best Practices. Information Security, GRC, and DevOps teams benefit from this detailed view. You see the actual security posture across different cloud infrastructure configurations, identity and access configurations, operating system baselines for Windows Server and various Linux distributions. Click on a category to see the list of security policies. Each security policy is assigned a compliance status, pass, warn, fail, or no data. A pass status is assigned only when all resources for a policy are compliant. On the right, you can see the number of compliant resources out of the total number of resources. A warn status is assigned when some resources are compliant. Fail status is assigned when all resources are non-compliant. You can click on any security policy to open a details window on the right. The details window displays a list of resources relevant for this security policy. You see the compliance status of each resource, pass or fail. The upper part is summary and recommendations. It provides a definition of this security policy. Cloud Needy also provides audit procedures and remediation procedures. You can follow these steps to reconfigure the resources and make them compliant. The risk matrix at the top of the page provides you the ability to prioritize your remediation efforts. It shows all security policies categorized by risk impact and risk likelihood. The highest risk policies are in the upper right corner. You can click on this cell to populate the filters and see the related security policies. From the main menu, we can also access cybersecurity benchmarks. We select CIS for Azure. Again, here you can see individual security policies grouped by category. You click on the security policy to open the details window on the right. You can see the compliance status of resources, summary and recommendations, audit procedure, and remediation procedure are available here as well. In the top right corner, you can see a Reports button. All this information can be downloaded as a PDF, Word, or CSV report. The same views we just demonstrated are available for cybersecurity benchmarks, laws and regulations, industry benchmarks, and private benchmarks you have the ability to track your organization's specific set of security policies. Let's have a look at the Configurations section. Under Features and Quotas, you can see the enabled compliance frameworks. Under Integrations, you can configure data feeds and integrate with your ticketing system. Under Cloud Needy API Access, you can configure APIs to access the Cloud Needy application from CI or CD pipeline or other automation scripts. Click on Create API Application button and follow the documentation instructions.
Under Cloud Accounts, you can easily add new cloud accounts. Click on Add Cloud Account button. Select a license. Select the cloud service provider, for example, AWS. Now all you need to do is populate these fields with relevant information and click Add Account button. It takes less than five minutes to collect the data and populate the dashboards. Under Users, you can add or remove users as well as select user roles. Users can be granted access to specific licenses or only to individual cloud accounts. Users can have a reader or administrator role. Under Security Policies Exclusions, you can select certain security policies and exclude them from data collection under this license. When you choose Cloud Account Level, you can filter out security policies that can be auto-remediated and enable auto-remediation for some of them. Under Private Benchmarks, you can easily configure your own corporate compliance framework. For your new benchmark, you can select any existing compliance framework. You can pull over into your private benchmark, complete categories with associated control numbers and security policies. You can pull over individual security policies and place them into specific category and compliance control numbers. For more information about Cloud Needy, go to our online documentation portal at docs.cloudneedy.com. Thank you for watching this product demo.